Welcome to Barcelona for the final round of the 2015 Euro Formula Open. The title fight's going to go all the way to the line. Vito Baptista comes here this weekend just clear of Konstantin Tereshenko in the standings. But a couple of good races for Tereshenko and a poor run for Baptista and the title could be the Russians. Well, let's see how it plays out over the next few minutes. Coming into the final weekend of the season, Vitor Baptista was the red-hot title favourite. His principal rival, Konstantin Tereshenko, essentially had to win at both races and hope that everything else behind went in his favour. It was Tereshenko who led away from pole position clear of Yukanamaru and Baptista in third. That was the order and had run to the flag as behind. Plenty of drivers looked to scrabble for ground in the early stages around a circuit where overtaking is notoriously difficult as evidenced by Lin Kang and Kanzuki Kasiri, a pair of them tangling with Kasiri being fired off into the tyre wall. Behind others looked to try and progress up through the order, as at the front of the pack the order remained relatively stable. It meant the victory for Konstantin Tereshenko was enough to keep the title fight alive going into the final race of the weekend and indeed of the season. However, Third place of Vitor Baptista meant that essentially as long as he stood out of trouble on Sunday, then he would be the 2015 Euro Formula Open champion. Nonetheless, it was a fine day for Campos Racing. Not only did they win the race outright with Tereshenko, Diego Menchaca also claimed rookie class honours. That was ahead of a spirited drive from Leonardo Pulcini, the teenage Italian once more spectacular. So a slightly bittersweet victory for Tereshenko, but nonetheless, he had performed immaculately and took one of the most dominant wins of the season, clear of Canamaru and Baptista. Campos Racing Team celebrating and then shark up to the top step of the rookie podium. We, we fight tomorrow and then this is race is a uh, help me to fight the championship and I uh, really funny. But uh, we look tomorrow how it is. I, I, I do my best and we look. Final race of the year and once more Tereshenko had done the business in qualifying. He was on pole position and led away from teammate Menchaka into the opening turn. Whereas wildcard Danny Yunkadeya showed his experience claiming third to refer to Dan Habsburg and Yu Kanamaru. Vito Baptista was down in sixth but was rapidly trying to make progress, attempting to elbow aside Canamaru. But for Baptista, keeping his nose clean was the order of the day. Meanwhile, there was some fantastic fighting behind Enrique Baptista and Igor Wilko in the thick of the action. Despite it being the final race of the year, there wasn't really an end of term atmosphere, and all the drivers kept the racing close, clean, and competitive without any unnecessary incidents. The front of the pack, Tereshenko, came through to claim a double victory in the home event for the Campos Racing Team. It's been a magnificent performance throughout the course of the weekend, but a slightly bittersweet win this for Tereshenko because although he did all he could to wrestle the crown away from Vitor Baptista, he couldn't do it and it was the Brazilian Baptista, the Euro Formula Open champion in his debut season in the championship. It's been a magnificent title fight throughout 2015 between Tereshenko and Baptista and both drivers will go on to great careers further on up the motorsport ladder. So the win for Tereshenko from Menchaka and Yunkadeya. Menchaka once more claiming top rookie honours. He tore Baptista, however, at 2015 Euro Formula Open champion. This is a good way to, to finish the championship, but uh, we don't win the championship. We work it next year. And another series, but this is good uh, season for me, and I too much learn. All good. I'm really happy about the team, about my all my comportment during the season. I'm really happy. I have just thank you all the the team and everybody that helped me along this year.